again and welcome to another video of my RB class channel welcome to video number five on how to start reading in Arabic in today's video we are going to learn about the classical Arabic which is quite essential when it comes to reading in Arabic so before I continue this video please make sure you give it a like subscribe and ring the bell to be notified into any future video without further ado let's get into today's video in today's video like per said is gonna be about the classical arabic but before we start what is a classical arabic classical arabic in arabic is divided into three parts the nominative the accusative and lastly the genitive if you still don't get what am i saying I just mean that the ending of a word would change on its role depending on the sentence and yes that do exist in English for instance in English you say he did it and not him did it and same goes with Arabic but it's just that it would indicate its tense by the usage of a short vowel added to the end of the word creating a two set of endings a set is used to define something example the car and another set that would define a car creating six and only possible types of ending and two of them would be define and undefined the nominative accusative and the genitive but in the general arabic the type of arabic that all arabs use in order to communicate with each other they don't use any of that just like in english but i can't say it is completely not there in the general arabic well it is but slightly a bit and here comes in a surprising fact most of the arabic courses spend a lot of time on the case endings and the rules itself is quite complicated and only few I mean a small majority of native Arabs could master it and most of them are the lawyers I mean lawyers in Middle East they must have a strong in Arabic and in the end we don't want to become a lawyer all of us so that's why it's okay and not take it too much on yourself to try and master it it is fine so just if you are guys wondering what is the hard part in it okay reason number one is that they are hardly written reason number two is that they write them as a short vowel and following to the reason reason number three is short vowel are hardly even written in arabic nor pronounced right reason number four so why on earth am i even teaching you that basically for two reasons Firstly, there are few instances that you might just come in and need to write them or pronounce them. Secondly, if you went on the internet, searched or checked any valid text, you would see them there. And lastly, a bonus reason of my own, it would improve your Arabic making the language to be less complicated but later and gradually i am going to explain you the important ones but for now i am going through the sounds only as you can see for nominative it is gonna be creating a sound of a u and n U, n, un, un. it is gonna be like to double the dumb sound and for define definitive define it's gonna be only u following with accusative we're gonna write a sound like an an but it is gonna be double the fatha the on top of the letter and for the second one it's just gonna be one fatha for the genitive we are gonna put an in but it's gonna be a kasra double kasra written at the end of the word below and for the definitive it's gonna be just a kasra this is gonna be the general concept of the case endings that i'm talking about please take a screenshot and save it now i would like to give out an example in order to understand the concept clear our example is gonna be the word house please pause the video and write the word house in arabic 
house in Arabic it is either bait, menzil, or dar. For today's example, I'm gonna take dar as the word. So in English, if you wanna say the girl's house, it is gonna be dar al bint, and literally in Arabic, it is gonna be the house girl's. But it's not is wrong in English, but it is how we say it in Arabic. Now let me solve you an example using the word dar and showing you how the sound of the end case would differ. For definitive, it's gonna be dar, daru, and darun, darun. And for accusative, I'm gonna write darun, dara, dara, fatha. And for second one, it's gonna be daran, daran. As you have may realized, I'm gonna write it like this with an alif. Now, why am I writing it like this? It is because this is just like a strong accusative, and this is the way how you write it. But when, for example, the letter sayara, we have a ta marbuta. We are just gonna put it next to it like this. Only for the letter ta. Rest of the letters you have to put alif. Moving on to genitive, it's gonna be da ri da ri da ri. And for indefinite, it's gonna be da ren da ren. Underneath it, we are gonna double castra it. This is how it is gonna look and that's how it's gonna sound now guys please pause the video and take a screenshot of this one but and what you have to also remember that with the any letter you're gonna put a med alif for accusative indefinite except the letter ta you're just gonna write double fatha on top of the ta itself and as you have may realize we put darun Daren, daren. There is always an in sound right in the end of the letter. This is how it is gonna sound for all letters. So that's done for teaching, but we aren't gonna finish this video like this. We are going to practice an example using a different word. The word would be pen. Pause the video and write pen in Arabic in the comment section. If you guys just don't write the answers in the comment section, I wouldn't be able to realize if this is helping you or not. So guys, please just show me your answers at least. Even if they were wrong, it's okay, it's fine. I can correct them and tell you the right answer. It doesn't matter. As long as you're trying, that's it. You are progressing. So please pause the video and fill up this table. Write your answers in the comment section. Okay, let's start solving. For nominative, it is gonna be the word qalam, qaf, lam, meme. This is how you're gonna spell it. You are gonna add a dhamma on the meme, pronouncing it like qalamu, qalamu. And for the second one, it's gonna be put a double dhamma, qalamun, qalamun, qalamun. Moving on to accusation. It is gonna be qalama, qalama, qalama. And for the next one, please be careful. It is gonna be qalaman, qalaman. We are gonna add a mad alif in the end. Qalaman. For genitive, it's gonna be a kasra, qalami, qalami. And then qalaman, qalaman. A double kasra in the end. And below the letter mim. Qalamin. So for definite, qalamu, qalama, qalami. And for indefinite, qalamun, qalaman. Be careful. Qalaman, we always add a mad alif except for the letter ta. And qalamin, qalamin. Let me say them all one more time. Qalamu, qalama, qalami. Qalamun, qalaman, qalamin. And that was all for today. So guys, make sure you give this video a like, 
subscribe if you haven't done this already and comment leave a comment i want all to see all your answers and give me a feedback on this video also share 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 this video with your friends otherwise it would be useless to learn arabic and not be able to use it with your friends and communicate with it thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day Ma salame. see you in the next video bye